Hey everybody, Six String Supplies. Today I'm going to show you how to measure your pickups and pot values when they're already wired in your guitar. <laughs> All you need is a multimeter and preferably unlike mine it's better if you've got crocodile clips i haven't as you can see here so if you haven't got crocodile clips you just need a fairly steady hand uh, but it's no problem otherwise so one of our earliest videos on this channel stretching back to 2016 or it might have been 2017 was uh, an introduction showing you how to use a multimeter um not the same one, I have to, have to say, um, but it was quite simply an introduction. It would show you how to measure um, across the, the outer lugs of a, of a pot, for example, or how to measure a pickup. And it was all very nice and simple. But obviously, when you've got all your pops and pickups wired into uh, a guitar like this, for example, so when you've got, you know, your two volumes, your two tones, your pickups and a toggle switch, um, you don't really want to be snipping at wires or desoldering connections just to find out what the value of the pot is. Now, of course, most pots will have the, the value stated on it, but if it's covered in solder and you and you want to work out what the resistance of the uh, volume pots are, for example, there is a way to do it without having to disconnect anything, and that is what we're going to cover in today's video. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the jack plate from the side of the guitar here. Uh, and if you can pry your jack out a little bit, that makes it a lot easier. Um, make sure you turn the volume controls up to 10. Uh, we'll start off by taking the pickup reading. So turn your multimeter onto the uh, resistance setting there. Um, we'll start with the bridge pickup. So you select one pickup only, and you will put the switch into the bridge position. Now I'll put a photo on the screen just to show you exactly where I'm putting it, but you're going to put your multimeter across the tip and sleeve of the jack socket, and that will give you the uh, reading on the bridge pickup. So in this case, it's 8.63. And if you want the neck pickup, you simply put the switch into the neck position and do the exact same. And that will give you the reading for the neck pickup, which in this case is 7.55. So that's the pickups. Next, we'll move on to the volume controls. Okay, so to work out the volume controls, it's actually exactly the same technique and procedure, but it requires a, a, some simple mathematics. So we'll start again with the bridge. So I'm just gonna put the switch back to the bridge position. We're again gonna take the reading, um, which is gonna be, it was 8.6, wasn't it? 8.62, 8.63, 8.63. Now this is where ideally you're going to want some crocodile clips because you need to keep um, the multimeter across the jack socket. Then you're going to turn the volume control back down to zero. And then we're going to slowly open it up again. And what you'll see on the multimeter there is the resistance is going to increase. Uh, and as you get up to the top, it's going to uh, peak out, head back down, <clears throat> and then it will finish off at the pickup resistance that we've already established. So what we need to do is take that peak resistance, it can be around 136. That peak resistance is gonna be a quarter of the overall pot value. So you need to take that uh, resistance, and you multiply it by four, and that's gonna give you the resistance of the pot plus the pickup. So 136 multiplied by 4 is 544, and then you simply subtract the pickup resistance, which was 8.63, which is giving us a pot value of 535. And then you can, you can ascertain if it's a linear pot or a uh, audio taper pot, because the peak resistance, if it's a linear pot, it will peak out at about halfway. And if it's uh, an audio pot like this one, it will peak out a bit closer to, to the top seven or eight on your control knob. So that's that one. We'll, we'll move on to the neck pickup next. Okay, so for the neck volume control, we're just going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to put the toggle switch into the neck position. 
multimeter across the tip and sleeve of the uh, jack socket. So with the volume open at 10, it's going to give you the pickup reading, which we've already established is 7.5. So just make a note of that pickup resistance. Then you're going to turn the volume back down to zero and we're going to do the exact same. We're going to slowly rotate it. It's going to hit its peak resistance, which is going to be around the 130-ish mark. So what was that? Let's go back. 135. Then it's going back down again. So we do the same calculation that that resistance is going to be about a quarter of the overall value. So 135 multiply that by four is 540 minus the resistance of our pickup, which was 7.55. And that's given us a pot value of 532K. So it's actually very, very accurate. Um, I know for a fact that I measured these pots before putting them into the circuit and they were measuring in at 535. Um, so it's a very accurate way of determining the value of your pot without having to desolder anything or cut any wires out, which can save you a lot of hassle and time, especially if it's uh, an old guitar that you don't want to molest, I guess. That's probably the best word to, to use to describe it. Okay, so that's that. Next, we'll move on to the tone controls. Right, so the tone controls are easy as, as they are. If they're not in the circuit, you're just simply putting your multimeter across the outer lugs of each respective tone control. Um, so, and this is where actually it is advantageous to have the, to not have the crocodile clips, because you've got to go right in there. So that one's coming in at 508K. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the screen. I will put a little picture up to show you exactly what's going on. And on the volume control, exactly the same, 513. Nice and simple. So there you go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. That is how you measure your pickups and pots when they're already wired into a Les Paul. I'm just going to put on the screen now an instruction sheet to save you having to go backwards and forwards through the video. Uh, nice black and white instructions there showing you exactly what to do. Um, we'll see you real soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.